Hi everyone, welcome to Lee's Living Out of the Norm. We are building our off grid paradise in Arizona desert using interlocking compressed earth block machine. Progress is slow since we are not living there full time, but we are making it happen. Last time we experimented with soil mixes, and today we are testing their strength. Stay tuned and follow our journey. This is going to be a little bit of a fun video. It's not uh, not going to be too scientific, but what I have in front of us is bricks that we've made over time of different compositions, and we're going to kind of mess around with them and maybe even hit them with a mallet to see what happens. The first brick over here, each one of these has different moisture contents and different amounts of clay and different materials. So the first one over here we made probably a year ago, two years ago, and this was the video that everybody said, oh, you're putting way too much water, and this is 100% from our soil, and it's actually topsoil. It's not even, uh, it's not even like, it still has organics and a bunch of other stuff, so it's not from two feet down. It's from a hole that we just dug over on the random corner of our property and got dirt from. Um, and the funny thing is, is it seems like that this possibly is the stronger one of all of them after it's cured. The problem is, is getting that off of the machine is quite difficult. Um, but Naomi has worked and we've kind of printed a tool that we're going to try to do. And we'll do a video about that tool, but we're going to try to use it to pick the bricks up and see if that solves some of our problems. So this one's from our property, 100% our soil. This one is an AB mix with a little bit of cement with about 10% cement added to it and was mixed fairly dry because again, when we did this video, everybody said, oh, it's way too wet. So a lot of these are pretty dry. This is our property again with about 10% cement mixed a little bit drier than the other one was. This is... And then going this direction, I think what we did is they're fairly dry, but they're ours mixed with higher contents of clay going that direction. So this has a little bit more clay. This has a little bit more than that one. This has a little bit more than that one. And that one's actually from a buddy of ours property that is very high in clay content. So um, let's start with it because we see that it's already, it's already crumbling pretty bad just from picking it up and bringing it over here because clay shrinks and expands when it's wet that high of content makes it really um really prone to cracking so like that took zero effort whatsoever and it just disintegrates into nothing we put some cement in it too huh it does it has about 10 percent cement 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 yep <laughs> and then this one's a little less clay with about the same amount of cement. One of these has more cement, but I don't remember which one it is, but this is a little bit more um, clay, but obviously less than that. And you can see it's a little crumbly. You know, you can get it to, you can get it to crumble, which is probably not desirable. It should be a little stronger than this, I would think. And then it seems like it, it takes impact pretty well. I mean, no, Concrete takes real good impact, but you know, eventually it's going to come apart. Let's try the next one, which is a little bit less clay, even, le even less than this. And I think what we did is this is something like 20% of a high clay content. This is like 15% of a high clay content, and this is like 10% of a high con clay content. Um, I don't remember the exact numbers, but that's pretty close. So, and this one. Seems a little stronger than that one, but still crumbly, you know. And let's see what happens if I hit it. You think it's stronger than the other one? It, it felt like it was a little stronger because this one shattered with a couple hits. Mm. I think on the second. Well, I, I don't know. We have to play back the video. I don't know. It's either one or two hits on the first one. So <laughs> <laughs> my memory is not very good when it comes to that. So let's and this on. is not scientific. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said in the beginning. Okay, that's what I said. And then this one, which uh, that crumbled pretty easy. Just a little bit of pressure is causing it to crumble. And we hand mix these things, so we are not this quite sure. This is hand sure. mixed. All of these are hand mixed. 
except the and the first one is actually meant with mixed with a, a traditional tumbling um concrete mixer concrete mixer that you would buy at your big box station like but people say oh well it doesn't mix well enough and it doesn't do good so this is that's why we hand mixed all of these which that was a lot of work so anyway we're back to the 10 percent clay 10 percent concrete very low moisture when we made it and it is crumbly first hit it cracked in half and it it's it seems pretty crumbly to me yeah, yeah. you can feel, make the feel the difference yeah just in the way that it hits and then this is our property with a little bit lower moisture content than that and should be mixed better but it actually is pretty it takes effort to get it to break it's pretty strong and then i'm gonna try this set it flat so it's fair it's not sitting on a rock or something and then i hit the corner of it so i think it's stronger i think this is actually stronger than the other ones and this was our soil 10 percent 10 percent uh cement mixed with a little bit less water like half the water, maybe even less than half the water that we used before. So this one didn't mix any clays? No. Okay. This one's our property. This is a B mix, which a lot of a lot of people swear by because it, it compacts very well and makes a hard surface. Uh, this is 100% AB mix mixed with uh, uh, 9 to 10% concrete. Sorry, cement, not concrete. Yeah. It's extra crumbly. But it was strong though. It's strong. Did. Like but probably moisture content wasn't right. Maybe. I would definitely say this is higher than the, the high clay, better than the high co clay content ones. Yeah. Yeah, but it still crumbles pretty bad. And then we're back to the one that we originally made a while ago. It feels hard. It was really wet, wet. Yeah, it's really wet, wet, but it was hard to get picked up. I think we put a piece of wood right next to this, and we, Just Carrie and I were, like, super gentle to move it over. Mm -hmm. So, ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite a bit harder. Oh, we're break We're cracking. I'm going to start hitting it harder. Okay. I should wear safety glasses. <laughs> This is a hell of a lot stronger than the other one. <laughs> I think it's strong enough, right? Yeah, that's definitely strong enough. That's by far the strongest one. And this is the one that was too wet. Too wet. Too wet and mixed with the wrong mixer. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, internet, <laughs> talk to us. Tell us what you think of what you just saw in this video. Go down below comment what you think as far as which one as far as which other uh not test but which other mixtures you think we should try and then let us know in the comment section below we appreciate your time thank you for watching the video please comment like and subscribe and one thing that i figured i didn't want to discriminate so we went and we grabbed a piece of concrete block that was bought from one of the big box stores. I don't remember which one, Home Depot or Lowe's. But this one broke under the weight of the shipping container. So we figured just for fun, we'll hit it and see if we can get it to break and see how strong it is. Now granted, this, this brick is strong. I'm not concerned with its uh, strength. This had 8,000 pounds sitting in the middle of it and it wasn't flat underneath. That's why it broke when it rained, so. Hitting it hard enough that it'll jump, but I don't think it's gonna it's break. Not, gonna break. <laughs> not unless we come out with a chisel and cause a fracture in it. But this one I hit quite a few times before it broke. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before it even and it it started breaking a crack right here because I don't think it's level on the ground. I think there's a stress point under it. I think it was high right here. Mm -hmm. So. So that's it for today's video. What do you guys think? 
let us know in the comment thank you so much for watching have a great day